It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hello, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to the NBA on 2K Sports. Excited, I mean thrilled, to be here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm so lucky. Moments away, it'll be the Minnesota Timberwolves going up against the Denver Nuggets. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. With the Denver Nuggets, they won their last contest, that game against the Mavericks in Dallas. And really an emphatic win for them, especially considering that it came in an opponent's building. And there's no question it was their offense that carried them. I love the way they went and got this game, Greg. I mean, they attacked at every opportunity, never relaxed or sat back. And as a result, they eventually pulled away. And the starting lineup for the Timberwolves. Rubio and Martin are their backcourt. Towns is out there with Garnett, and it's Wiggins in at the three. Timberwolves on defense. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. Man, that was a stinker. I mean, that's one of those games where you really can't find anything that they did well. The game just got out of hand, and really just a shaky performance across the board. Yeah, and I'd have to agree with you, and, and you know how optimistic and positive I am, but it's hard for me to find anything positive to take away from that. That's a game you just want to forget about as soon as you can. And that one's good. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. Moutier passes to Bailey. He kicks it to Freak. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. That one is on Towns. The Nuggets shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. First one falls for him. Keep it moving, all right? Keep running, keep running. And both free throws good from Freak. Here's Minnesota. It's a three-point game. Martin kicks to Rubio. And so just over a minute and a half played. Martin dishes to Towns. Cannot hit. Great D that time from Freak. Boy, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. Bailey passes to Freak. Can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Garnett. Martin goes in, and the call will be against Emmanuel Moutier. That's his first foul. Man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level, in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. Now here's Wiggins. Tight defense on him. Garnett, the screen. Rubio with a wide open look, and he sinks the shot coming off the strong pick. Kevin Garnett sacrificing his body on the defender there. And there's the pass to Bailey. The dish to Freak. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Well, I tell you, he squeezed that orange as tight as he could before that throwdown. Yeah, no way he was going to lose that thing on the way up. You're right, Clark. And, and better safe than sorry on that one, guys. Here is Rubio. The Nuggets getting the bucket. Outside, Martin. Five on the clock. From the line, Denver grabs the miss. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Moutier kicks to Freak. Moutier dishes to Fareed. Denver passing it around. Bailey passes to Freak. From deep. And Kevin Martin pulls it down. Timberwolves trail by three. Towns sets the pick for Wiggins. Here's Rubio. Another miss by Minnesota. The Nuggets have gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. Moutier passes to Bailey. Three-pointer. No good. 
and Minnesota will come the other way. This, the first chance to take a look at the Nuggets this season. And they dropped the season series to these guys a year ago. Not their proudest moment. Greg, a team that on paper they expect to beat, great teams take care of business against the bottom feeders. We'll see if they can handle that end of the bargain here tonight. Now, here's Rubio. He's coming off a 22-point game against the Lakers. And he also controlled the backboard as well. I mean, he really did a terrific job. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. To the middle. Here's Freak. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Minnesota's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. And Rubio kicks to Garnett. There's the pick. Back to Rubio. In the corner, it's Wiggins. And Kenneth Fareed pulls it down. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. You know, obviously, he knows how to finish with some flair. Timberwolves trail by four. And Rubio kicks to Garnett. Wiggins left side. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Minnesota shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. The Nuggets making a switch here. Chandler's checked in, and a change for the Timberwolves. Nikola Pekovic is checked in for Kevin Garnett. Barton kicks to Freak. Rubio comes with the double team, and that one's good. Freak. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Let's take a look at last year's top score. Freak third. Yeah, he had a terrific year last year, consistent and ended up being one of the best scorers in the league. Timberwolves trail by five. Rubio dishes to Pekovic. That's in, coming off an assist from Rubio. Here's Moutier. His last outing, he had eight points. We'll go to Doris Burke, who moments ago spoke with head coach Flip Saunders. And uh, Doris, what do you have to say? Thanks, Kevin. He talked about the challenge defensively, going up against a team that can really execute. He said, they're a team that makes the most of every single possession. They won't settle for tough shots. We have to make them take difficult shots, contested shots. Guys, let's see if they have what it takes. And Doris, thank you so much. And guys, how do you view coach's strategy in terms of limiting those shooters? Well, I think he knows how dangerous they can be if they get hot. So it's a sound approach. Defensively, though, they, they have to stick like glue to those guys. That's absolutely essential. I mean, preventing high-quality shots has to be the highest priority. An absolute must. Now here's Wiggins. Wilson Chandler unable to get his shot to go. Wiggins kicks to Martin. And that misses. That would have put him up. A clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. Bailey passes to Barton. Freak with it. Now guarded by Town. Now here's Freak. He's guarded closely. And that one's good. Freak's got 12 points in the game. Timberwolves trail by three. On the wing, Wiggins. Takes the 13-footer. Denver grabs the miss. Freak's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And it's stolen by Ricky Rubio. Wiggins outside. Martin kicks to Pekovic. Great D that time from Freak. The Nuggets leading by three. Chandler outside. To the inside. Inside. Here's Freak. It's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got three rebounds now in this one. Here's Wiggins. He trains the quick shot. Wiggins has got his second basket of the night. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. 
They really are, and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Kevin Martin, how he performed last season. Averaged about 15 points a game last season. Two assists and three rebounds. And you look at his score, and he was number one on the team last season. And Greg, I liked his ability to play through contact, his exceptional concentration. And that allowed him to be a great finisher. Alinari, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Vasquez comes in for Will Barton. And then for Minnesota, Jang, he's checked in for Towns. Shabazz Muhammad comes in for Kevin Martin. And Levine subbed in for Ricky Rubio. And, and Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. And, you know, time will tell how big a factor that becomes in this game, guys. But if you're the coaching staff, it's certainly a point of emphasis. Here's Wiggins, lays it up and banks it in. Wiggins has got eight. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Good. He is just tearing it up this quarter. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this high. Pass to Muhammad. Fades. And it's Denver with the rebound. Freaks got seven rebounds in the game. Moutier kicks to Vasquez. Down low. There's Freak. Goes up off the pick. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Just not enough bodies on the glass right there, and they paid for it. Well, Greg, I know you're a little guy, but you know what it means to box out, and it's an effort thing and a mindset deal. you got to get your body between that other player and the ball. Now here's Muhammad. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Lakers. And I thought the contribution he made by just generating contact, getting to the line was outstanding, guys. I mean, he picked up a lot of points at the strike. Moutier with the ball. Muhammad covering. And it's freak missing. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Shot and game clock separated by five. Here's Levine. Drills it from outside. Levine's got the game tied up here for the Timberwolves. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. Minnesota making a switch here. The Nuggets. Timberwolves trail by six on the court for Minnesota. Rubio and Martin are their backcourt. Shabazz Muhammad is out there with Garnett, and it's Towns in at the five down low. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. So it's Minnesota now. The Nuggets getting the bucket. Garnett, the screen. It's stolen by Vasquez. And pushing it up, here's Denver. Agility leads to thievery there as he's got his hand in there to get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. And Clark, that's been the story of this game so far. I mean, they cannot hand over any more easy points in the open floor. Martin. And the layup falls. Looked like he was channeling Bob Cousy right there. Since when does he take guys off the dribble like that? Vasquez kicks to Barton. Now here's Freak. He's guarded closer. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Well, let's look back to last year's Nuggets while we've got a moment here, Kevin. Fifth in rebounding. Sixth in fast break points. And they made their way into the top ten in second chance points. I mean, this is a team that really emphasized chasing down missed shots. And they did a pretty good job of it. Yeah, and going back to their rebounding, very few teams could outmuscle them inside. The size and toughness to scrap for every carom off the backboard. Wilson Chandler's checked in for Denver. 
And the Timberwolves also making a change. Pekovic has checked in. Muhammad dishes to Rubio. Offline from the high post. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Vasquez passes the freak. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And that's going to increase the field goal percentage even more. They are a huge edge in that category. And that's because they've been playing smart basketball. I mean, they've been very patient offensively, and their shot selection has been superb. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. That's good from Vasquez on the assist by Freak. Vasquez has got the lead up to 12 now for the Nuggets. Timberwolves have gone 4 of 8 so far here in the second quarter. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Mavericks just played phenomenal. He had 49 points and really controlled the glass, pulling down over 20 rebounds. Truly impressive numbers from him in a stellar performance. What a special night. All right, thanks so much, Doris. What a great report, and what a jaw-dropping performance that was, guys. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I mean, he's given himself a hard act to follow here tonight. You know what? But as good as he was, it's hard to think there won't be at least some sort of carryover effect, guys. I mean, he still has to be riding pretty high. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Boy, oh boy, to be young again. My, oh my. Does that me thinking back to my days? Oh, yeah, and right. It does make you nostalgic, doesn't it? Oh, well, you speak for yourself because I, I could down. never throw it down like that. But I will say it sure looks fun, doesn't it? And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Nuggets. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. Well, that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, nice job there, Greg. Recognizing the opportunity was there to push it, and then excellent execution. Now in the court. Take a look at the most efficient scores in the NBA from last year's campaign. Freak number one. Boy, it was a terrific year for him. Led the league in field goal percentage because he took high quality shots all the time. And Minnesota has possession. Down by 15. And it's Martin penetrating. And there's the call on Carl Anthony Towns. That's his third foul of the game. Here's Barton. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. He dishes it to Freak. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And you know, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position under the hoop, Greg. You're right, once he gets his hands on the miss. That's exactly why it's important to work hard on the offensive glass, fellas, for chances just like that. Now here's Pekovic. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Lakers in Los Angeles. And how about the job he did rebounding as well, guys? I mean, just the dominant performance on the glass. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Getting better and better. Got that field goal percentage up in the 60s now. Clark, they've dialed it in here in the second quarter, playing really well. Here's Martin. He points his last outing. Muhammad with it. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Muhammad's got his second bucket of the game to go. Vasquez kicks to Chandler. Down low. And stolen by Pekovic. 
The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Here's Martin. It's deflected. Here's Barton. Muhammad covering. Over in the corner to Vasquez. Here's Freak. And he gets Let's that go, one man. to go Let's off go. the front iron. Freak's got 12 points now in the quarter. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Rubio dishes to Pekovic. Got a piece of it. Here's Bart, covered by Marsh. And Freak throws it down. Flying high and throwing down the hard one-hander. <laughs> one of his favorite moves right there, guys. And, and really, he does that one as well as anyone. Kev, okay, you're right. That's like his signature move once he goes airborne. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Moutier, he's checked in for Denver. Minnesota also making some changes. Jang, he's checked in for Towns. And Wiggins is subbed in for Kevin Martin. Jang, a screen. And it's Rubio penetrating. Jang, no luck. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. There's a glaring discrepancy between these teams in that area of the game. And it's been the difference. That's what's enabled them to build such a big lead, no doubt about it. And as they continue to just dominate this game, you have to wonder how much can they win by? Well, it's on the verge of getting out of hand, Greg. You can feel it. You can see it. Uh, in part because the defense has been about as good as the offense, and both have been really good. Here's Rubio. After the Nuggets pick up two, dishes it to Jang. That's in, coming off an assist from Rubio. Rubio's got his fourth assist in this one. Moutier kicks to Freak, and down it goes. Dunk threw off a wonderful assist. He power surged that one down. Mm, wow. Yeah, good oh, term to use. Man. One of the game's top dunkers for sure. Folks, that's not a petty, not a manny. That's a facial. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific assist that time by Rubio. Denver leading by 21. Moutier passes to Barton. Thirty-six Move seconds left in the second Stick quarter. Goes back up, and Freak with a nice bucket inside. Freak's got 36. Three consecutive baskets have come right at the rim. Defense had better start buckling down and tightening up. Guys, they are getting exposed in terms of their low post defense. Now, here's Rubio. He's got nine. The feed now to Jang from 15 feet away. And again, it's Minnesota converting. And a big height advantage right there. You know, it's tough to bring a big man that far away from the That's goal, right. no but that Chicken might wing. be a mismatch they're willing to live with. Oh, an illegal screen there. One of the tough. And so a pretty lot. The only accurate way to describe your interior defense was dominant. Were you looking to set a tone with all of those block shots? Uh, I mean, we're always looking to come out and set a tone like that. Our goal every game is to make the other side fearful of coming at us on offense. Man. I'm pretty sure we accomplished that in the first half tonight. You made them work for everything. Kevin, back to you. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. How about a double-double already? I mean, this is the sort of energy performance that just energizes your entire team. He has impacted the game in a bunch of different ways. Really going to be hard to slow him down now. I tell you what, this has been fun to watch. Freak in its center. Real Barton is out there with Moutier. Then there's Kenneth Fareed, and it's Bailey in at the three spot. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Kicks it to Freak, and stolen by Wiggins. Passes it to Martin. It's blocked. Bailey covered by Rubio. Here's Barton from outside off the mark. 
That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. Rubio with it. Now guarded by Fareed. Martin wide open. He fires. Here's Towns. Second chance shot. And the layup is up and in. Towns has got seven points in the game. That's really told the story today, guys. I mean, throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and then finish. More active and more physical down low. That's what's really been the difference thus far. Pass to Barton from outside the arc. The shot is off. And Minnesota will come the other way. On the wing, Wiggins. 90 seconds now into the second half. No luck. Feeds to Moutier. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the stripe for two. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. The Nuggets have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. At the line for two. The free throw good from Moutier. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Timberwolves trail by 17. The pass to Rubio. It's deflected. Now, Moutier, he's got six. He feeds it to Barton. He kicks it to Fareed. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. The Nuggets have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. That free throw good from Kenneth Fareed. Both free throws good from Fareed. Minnesota's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Rubio dishes to Wiggins. Knocked away. Here's Barton. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Screen by Fareed. Move the ball. Barton Stick kicks to much. Freak. Now the dish to Barton. Pass to Freak. Shot clock at five. The feed to Barton. There's the triple. Count the bucket. Barton's got his first three points of the game. That was simply a defensive breakdown there, Kevin. He was all alone for that shot. It was a warm-up jump. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Flip Saunders was saying to his club. He said their plan was run their offense through Wiggins. Coach emphasized getting him as many touches as possible, saying he is going to be one of the guys to carry us the rest of the way. He said also that their offense needs to be a patient one. He told them, don't rush things. Use as much of that shot clock as you need to. Coach was not wasting any time in altering their strategy here in the second half. And Kevin, he's going to have to hope those changes take effect quickly. Thank you, Doris. Denver leading by 20. Moutier kicks to Chandler. Freak passes to Fareed. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. The Nuggets have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. And he makes the first. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Pekovic is checked in. Both free throws good from Fareed. Minnesota's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Wiggins outside. Garnett, the screen. Dishes to Martin. Rubio left side. Stolen by Fareed. Oh, and here comes Fareed all over oh, the jam. Wow. I mean, just beautiful. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, but <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant offense. Yeah, I remember GA as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. Special thanks to Kia for that sweet Kia slam cam replay. 
Barton in the corner. Over in the corner, Chandler. Lots of room. Rebounded by Pekovic. Pekovic has got his third rebound tonight. Martin goes in and stolen by Freak. Moutier kicks to Fareed. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Fareed's got six points in the quarter. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Nuggets. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Yeah, I think you also have to give them a lot of credit for how well they've risen up to meet shooters to challenge shots in this game. Um, a lot of blocked shots tonight. Oh, such a feel shot there, the floater. Moutier dishes to Chandler. To the paint. And Freak gets it to go on the assist by Chandler. Chandler's got his third assist on the night. The Timberwolves have gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. Wiggins against Chandler, 13 feet away. No good. And I bet you'll never see too many guys who can put forth an effort on the boards like this one, Clark. Yeah, as a former outstanding rebounder myself, I can certainly appreciate what this guy is doing. An extraordinary combination of talent and desire is what allows him to do what he's done today. Great performance. Harton's in the post. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Yeah, the defender all over him. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. For Minnesota, they have attempted 11. The Nuggets leading by 20. On the court for Minnesota, Andrew Wiggins is out there with Garnett. Then there's Shabazz Muhammad. Then there's Towns. And it's Levine in at the point. And Muhammad kicks to Levine. He dishes it to Towns. And that one is hammered home. Oh, quick hands <laughs> on the steal and then just mad hops on the slam. Great sequence for them defensively and Clark offensively. Well, one usually leads to the other, Kevin. That's just good, aggressive, attacking basketball at both ends. That's good. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Kicks it to Freak. Now, here is Golinar. Towns with the steal. Here's Levine. They double him with Freak. Shot clock at six. Levine kicks to Towns. That is good. Towns has got 10 points in just the second half. They're shooting it quite well now. Again, function of shot selection, ball movement. Guys are in, in rhythm, confident, free-flowing, and they're knocking down their shots. Out to Chandler. Fires the three. Minnesota with the rebound. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Levine passes to Towns. Can't get it to go. Great D that time from Freak. Denver leading by 14. Barton dishes to Gallinari. Passes it to Freak. Out to Gallinari. Misses and the dry spell continues. Minnesota's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Now here's Muhammad. Not a lot of room. He's whistled for the five-second back to the basket violation. Fareed's checked in for Wilson Chandler. Martin's checked in for Minnesota. Ricky Rubio comes in for Zach Levine. Freak passes to Bailey. That one's good from the corner. And the Nuggets lead by 16. Timberwolves have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Wiggins right side. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. 
Well, just take a look at what Wiggins has done tonight. He has 17 points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. And you know what? The defenders have that in the back of their minds now. They'll be on him a little tighter. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Freak sets a screen for Gallinari. Right at the free throw line. Again, the Nuggets score. Despite his ineffectiveness, the team has found other scoring options, which you have to have when one of your main guys is struggling. Inside, Towns. And it's Freak with the rebound. Freak's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. Over to the left wing. And Colinari, good for three. colinari has got five points now this quarter. I think they're trying to go for the kill here. I mean, they're starting to take a lot more three-point shots than they had been before looking to run away. And, and as long as you keep getting quality looks, the coaches should have no complaints. Play with confidence. Garnett with a screen on Gallinari. And it's Rubio penetrating. And Towns the bucket on the assist from Kevin Garnett. And that's 17 points for Carl Anthony Towns. The pass to Bailey. At the elbow, it's Freak. To the right side. And Gallinari kicks to Freak. Kevin Garnett with the steal. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Martin with the ball. Power down with both hands. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. The shot's good from Fareed. The defense just too soft on that possession. You have to be closer and contest at the rim. Gallinari against Rubio. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. Rubio's got nine assists now tonight. Pass to Bailey. Feeds it to Freak. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That one is on Towns. It's really an extraordinary game for Freak. He's got 21 rebounds and some big-time point production as well. He's been tough on the inside and displayed great vision with his passing, too. And you know what? He is the total package today, giving them a little bit of everything. Denver making a switch here. Goudier has checked in. Here's Wiggins. Got a hand on it. It's stolen by Garnett. Wiggins drives in. And that basket is going to count. Goaltending the official call. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. Denver leading by 14. Fareed, no good. All the defender had to do there was just stay close to him, and he did. Baseline try, and that one goes long. Denver's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. Moutier kicks to Freak. Pass to Fareed. Freak dishes to Moutier. He feeds it to Freak. Wants to get it to Fareed and does. And he jams it with authority. You know, there are a lot of bigger power forwards than him in the NBA, but very few that rise up like he can. Timberwolves trail by 16, and Rubio kicks to Garnett. Now here is Martin. He's guarded closely. And Do foul it. called Stay as he down. misses. He'll go Stay to the down. line and shoot two. That free throw good from Kevin Martin. Nikola Pekovic is checked in for Towns. And so Martin nails both of them. The Nuggets are going five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Moutier passes to Bailey. He kicks to Freak. Martin dishes to Freak. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Kept alive. And Kenneth Fareed again. Fareed's got 12 points in just the second half. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. And Rubio kicks to Bekovic. No, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you go to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And that one misses. And the second free throw, good. And here's Moutier. 
Now the pass to Bailey. The dish to Freak. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. No clue <laughs> where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Timberwolves trail by 15. Rubio the pass to Pekovic. Now here's Wiggins. Defense right on him. Looks for Garnett. He gets it to him. That's good. Well executed possession. They controlled the shot. Nicely done. The Nuggets leading by 13. There's the feed to Freak. Barton dishes to Fareed. Kicks it to Freak. Back to Fareed. Pass to Moutier. Garnett grabs the board. Boy, did they need that rebound. I mean, they have struggled on the boards overall, but still with a chance to win. Exactly, because they've made enough plays to keep it close. And as a result, they're still in it. Got a piece of it. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Timeout. Timeout. Start it. Timeout. They can't guard us on the perimeter. It's spread the floor and isolate up top. Spacing, fellas. Spacing. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Flip Saunders was saying to his club. No surprise, really. The turnover situation was the focus. He told him, listen, we're giving it away, guys. We've got to protect the ball, play within ourselves, and get quality shots. Kevin? Thank you, Doris. Just three to shoot. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. Martin with the bucket. Well, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. Moutier with the ball. Dishes to Freak. Screen by Fareed. For three. That's another one for him, his fifth in just seven shots. Good job, nice job by Fareed to lay into that defender, put some wood on him with that screen. Now Rubio. Garnett, the screen. Here's Martin. And it's Martin again missing. And with room like that off the pick, you have got to knock that one down. Well, you know, they did everything right, Greg. They executed. All you want is a good look at the basket. Sometimes the shots just don't fall. Bailey passes to Freak. Over in the corner, Moutier. Just five on the clock. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Timberwolves trail by 13. Outside, Martin. We've got 113 left in the game. Not pretty. You've just got to shake off a miss like that. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for Denver. You know, Clark, their big advantage was points in the paint. Well, they pounded that ball inside, Kevin, and operated down low. It worked for them consistently. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And asserting themselves right from the start, guys. They'll be taking the front end of a four-game season series between these two clubs. They've got to feel good getting the upper hand tonight against the Timberwolves. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Freak. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand. And that one's good. Wigan. That's a nice job of getting the ball in the paint and burying the shot. That's exactly how it's done. Moutier passes to Baylor. Screen by Fareed. Now here's Moutier, covered by Rubio. And the foul called on Freak. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. I, I don't want... And so it's Denver taking care of business in this one. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, Clark, made the difference. Well, you know, at this stage, you've got to defend your home floor, and they did that. Well, folks, that... The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Many thanks, Kevin. So now we move on to our Jordan player of the game, Freak. Just a monster first quarter of the game. He came out hot and just never cooled down. 
That boost he gave his team early on a huge factor. What'd you think, Kenny? In terms of individual rebounding, he had a game that will be remembered for a long, long time. Whether it's chasing down long rebounds or grabbing one in traffic or one-handed rebounds, he was going after them and corralling all of them. He had a sensational night shooting the ball. Over 60% reminds me of myself. If you're shooting over 60%, you're playing smart, you're being aggressive, and you're creating opportunities. What a spectacular performance. And folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night.